Hey, happy Wednesday to everyone. This is Richard with Richard Runs Trails. Hey, I wanted to give an update on Hoka Spigo 5. I've got four pairs of them. Been using them exclusively over the last year and uh, trail racing and most of my training also, even indoor training on my treadmill. Um, the shoe's been working really well for me. Uh, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the Hoka Spigo 5, um, they reduced 10% of the weight going from Spigo 4 to Spigo 5. Uh, previously, they were kind of narrow. I think the Spigo 5s fit pretty well. I started off with uh, the regular width shoe. These work fine in uh, training for me, but I felt that um, after one short trail race that my feet swelled a little bit too much for them, so I went to the wide width. And so one of my pairs is normal width, three, I got three pairs of the wide width. And they've been working real well for me. Um, uh, positives, strong positives, they're lightweight compared to the ultras that I was wearing before. I was wearing Olympus uh, fours and uh, temps. Uh, these shoes are uh, very comfortable. Stack height is not too extreme. It's only four millimeters, so you're looking at a 29-33 stack height. It's four millimeters uh, uh, from front to back. Um, other shoes that I've worn were like six millimeters and then all the way down to zero drop, like Ultra. These seem to work really well for me. And then 100K, 100 milers, um, they hold up really well and uh, don't really beat up my feet or my legs. Uh, really like them. Um, other positives, the water drains very well. In my last race, I had about 20 stream crossings and they, they get rid of the water very fast. And uh, I had no blisters after the race. And of course, part of that's the socks and the toughness of my feet, but um, these shoes are working really well for me. Com uh, those are the positives and negatives. The throat of the shoe, this material here wears a little bit faster than uh, other shoes. You can get rough spots. Um, that's after about, these have over 200 miles. Um, it's not a big deal if you're racing in them, um, but I actually use new shoes when I race. Um, that's why I've got four pair. So new 100 milers, I usually buy a new pair of shoes, but in short races, I'll use these older pairs. And uh, if I have thick, um, Trail socks on, no problem. Like in Gingy Trail or Gingy Gingy Ultra, this doesn't bother me. But if I've got thin training socks on, the wear in here, I don't like too much. I have to end up, uh, I'll repair it a little bit. I'll just take the roughness out of it. But that's definitely an area where Hoka can improve is the fabric in the throat of the shoe back here. Um, the other negatives is if you wear a wide width, they don't have many colors. Um, if you order from Hoka Direct, you get a little bit more selection, but that's why I've got some pairs. I've got two pair of red, and uh, I've got the green, and then I've got this color here, which also comes in the wide. They have like a white one that comes in the wide, but I mean, why would you buy a white trail shoe? You know, it's just going to get so dirty. But those are the only negatives I have. But overall, the shoe is working real well for me. Um, highly suggest you check them out. Um, I've tried out many different brands, wore Ultras for years, um, was wearing Hoka on the roads for training and light trail work, but still using Ultra on the, on the, on the trails for many years. And last year I, ch I changed to the Speedgoat and it's the best thing I've ever done um, in regards to shoes. One other hack I do is, um, you'll see here I put a T on the sole. What that means is it's these are only for treadmill. So I do a lot of workouts, especially in the wintertime on treadmill, and I want to um, use my speed goats, but I want them to be clean. So um, these, these pairs have been retired to the treadmill, and uh, I don't take them outside, so they stay clean. And uh, it's much easier that way. Another thing I do is, since I have some that are the same colors, I tie them together like this. So I keep them together so I don't mix up which ones are which. Um, I do that with all my shoes. I try to buy different colors, but like I said, because of the wide and the speed goat, there's only three or four colors available. Um, if you wear a normal width, they have quite a few colors available. 
And the most, the best color selection is always going to be on the Hoka website direct. So, I mean, I do buy from Running Warehouse and other places, but when you're looking for a special color and a width, special width, I would definitely go to the Hoka website. That's all for today. I uh, wish everybody a great week and enjoy your training. Bye for now.